What's up everybody? Raid testing back on the menu and today we're taking a look at Mythic Denine in the new raid Sanctum of Domination. Keep in mind this is not a guide on how to do the fight and I will mostly focus on the Mythic part of the encounter. What's new on Mythic, how and if it changes the overall approach to the fight, and my thoughts on the overall encounter. If you want to see more of the overall mechanics you can check out my heroic video of this fight. So the 9, what's new on Mythic for our angelic moss warns? Well, outside of the standard numerical upscaling, stuff hitting harder, having more health, more debuffs, etc, you'll now get phase 2's Fragment of Destiny in phase 1 and phase 1's 100 energy ability, Wings of Rage and Reverberating Refrain in phase 2 or when Skidja is up, swibbity swap! And Skidja now lands when either Kira or Signa hits 20% HP, which means you'll have to deal with all three at the same time time for a longer duration. But let's start off with the fragments in phase 1. So on mythic 4 players will now be inflicted with the fragments and their damage is tuned up quite a lot as well. So depending on tuning, space might be an issue. As you'll be spawning those frosty puddles throughout phase 1. However, while testing with the current tuning, that doesn't seem likely as you'll kill him long before space becomes an issue. But if they do tune up their HP then that might be something to consider. But right now it was fine just stacking him at the ledge and not caring about the puddles after that. On top of this, the fact that there's 4 of them and they happen more frequently as well as their damage being way higher on mythic really means you don't want to fail the dispels. Like having him jump to the wrong targets. Not only will this drain healer mana due to more dispels and a higher healing requirement, but you also lose a lot of DPS by having two free players AFKing while waiting for the debuffs to get cleared. Unsure which way will be the best, but most likely you'll have the four fragmented players run out, dispel one, that play runs back, dispel next one, etc. until the shard spawns. Now let's move on to phase two, or rather when Skidja lands and you've defeated Signa and Kira. So like I mentioned earlier, in phase two on Myth Thick Skidja will periodically summon Kira or Signa to do their signature ability. Now in the dungeon journal it says Word of Recall periodically calls them. Now Word of Recall is when Skidja instantly calls all the Valkyrs she summoned prior to it to happen at the same time. However, while testing Word of Recall only seemed to call Kira, which is the pushback and be 10 yards away ability Wings of Rage, and Signa seemed to instead get summoned like halfway between recalls and usually a second or two after fragments went out. Now as per usual while PTR testing I am unsure how this will end up. Now based on the dungeon journal it would make sense that Word of Recall calls two or three Valkyrs like Massacre 2.0, Big Soak and either Kira or Signa to add some difficulty to it. However if you think about the overlaps you can get with Signa's ability thrown into the recall suddenly it makes a lot less sense. Cause imagine getting the four circles around the room you need to soak or the two 25 yard circles you need to get out of the raid or the eight small 5 yard circles you need to spread with. Whilst being inside Cygnus circle then yeah unless it's timed super well it's almost impossible to deal with. So I'm gonna go ahead and assume you get Kira during recall and Signa between. And that's pretty much all that's new on mythic. Overall it's a really really good fight. Nothing overly complex even though there's a lot of mechanics and a lot happening at the same time it's all fairly straight forward and easy to deal with. All the Valkyries seem to spawn in a pattern so there wasn't really any RNG there so the recall you get in phase 2 will always be in the same order if it stays like this once it goes live. If they do change it to be completely random I for one would love that as it would make the fight a lot more interesting but also a lot more frustrating and difficult and might be overkill for the third boss in the raid. Either way I enjoy this fight immensely it has a little bit of everything. Interrupts that needs to be done, soaks, spreads, boss movements, an ad, dodge some stuff, soak other stuff, push and pull effects, jack of all trade, master of none. Only thing that makes me a bit sad is I wish they would have made this fight a lot harder and put it as a later boss in the raid because it really is a lot of fun. And yeah that's pretty much it for this fight on mythic. I will cover all the bosses on PTR and proper guides will be out once the raid is released. On top of this I'm streaming all of the raid testing on PTR so don't forget to check that out whenever there's raid testing announced. Otherwise I'm streaming all of our main progression once it's live on Mondays and Tuesdays. If you have any questions at all about this encounter hit me up in the comments or become a patron and get access to the stanky discord where you can get help with anything raiding related. And don't forget the usual stuff like comment subscribe and ring that notification bell it really helps me out. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time.